In a world full of distractions, it is important for a father and a son to catch up. And nothing bonds better than football. Welcome to Catching Up. Welcome to Catching Up. Um, in this father-son relationship, I'm the father, my name is Patrick. I'm the son and I'm Leo. <laughs> Welcome. So, um, it's, it's week one has finished. Um, we're heading into week two and there is a lot of catching up to do. Uh, what do you want to start us, Liam? I think we should start with the start. Um, the Chiefs lost the Lions. So the returning Super Bowl champions lost the first game of the season to the Lions. Why? Well, Travis Kelsey was out. Okay, that's one thing. But isn't Mahomes good enough to exactly. be able to... He, he completed passes to how many, like, seven or eight different His receivers? His first seven completions were, like, to seven different people. Yeah, um, and so I feel like there's got to be at least... There's, there's some depth there, it seems like, but yeah. what happened? The Lions' defense improved. They okay. got, sadly, they got C.J. Gardner-Johnson um, and Aiden Hutchinson, the rookie from last year. He was he was really good last year, and he was really good on Thursday. Well, and that's what I was going to say, Liam. I was going to say, is it so much that the Chiefs lost, or is it that the Lions won? The Lions won that game. Are they going to be a team to look out for this year? And they, they faked a punt on their own 20-yard line. Yeah, that was at the beginning of the game, right? So that, like, set, or close to the beginning. It was close to the beginning. So that kind of like set the standard, like, we're here to play. Yeah. Excellent. Dan, Camp Dan Campbell is not messing up. No. <laughs> Excellent. So where do we go to from there after Thursday night? Well, the next big news is, obviously, Aaron Rodgers being out for the season. Okay, so what do we think about that? I said at the start of the season that the, the, the Jets weren't going to be good. I said, I don't know. So let's just stop talking about Aaron Rodgers for a second. Is Zach Wilson good enough? Does the team, does the coaches have enough faith in him to be able to be a good team this season, even without Aaron Rodgers? Zach Wilson, his first year as a rookie was detrimental, but that's rookies. Sure. Last year, I don't know how many, he threw a lot of picks. Okay. But they had a 9-8 and eight record. Right. But their defense is definitely why they're good. Okay. I personally don't think he's good enough. He was only good for like one year in college. Okay. He just had one big boom year. And that was like, oh, Zach Wilson's good now. So what do you think of the Jets? Will they be good this year? Will they be decent this year? I think they could be good. I think they've got some really good players on defense. And they have good receivers. And Brees Hall. Oh my gosh, Brees Hall is back. So, like, giving the ball to Brees Hall at running back, like, that's a, that's a good option. <laughs> Right. Zach Wilson, he might be able to hold it together because they've got the defense and the running back to support him. Sure. Now, um, who's the who's the uh, the defensive? Jordan Whitehead. Whitehead. He had a contract uh, bonus. If he got three interceptions this season, he would get an extra two hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. How does that look for him right now? That looks pretty good. Three interceptions three in against Josh Allen. Um, so before we move on to Josh Allen and the Bills, tell me what do you think about Aaron Rodgers? Is he done? Is it over? Is there any hope for him next year? I think Aaron Rodgers, he's got about a second year on his contract. But can he come back from an Achilles injury is the, I think is the question. Uh, I hate to say it, his age. <laughs> I'm older. I think Aaron Rodgers could. I think other older players couldn't. But Aaron Rodgers, he's got four MVPs. He's very determined okay. to do well. I think he's good enough. He's going to have to have surgery. I think he could come back from that. Of anyone, Aaron Rodgers would be someone who could do that. I don't think he's ready to quit. I think you're right. Just his mental capacity, he's ready to fight. He's ready to, yeah. to continue to go. All right, so then the other half of the Jets-Bills game, what happened to the Bills? Disclaimer, I am a Bills fan. Speak gently, please. Um, what happened with the Buffalo Bills on Monday night? I read the Bills have a mediocre offense, a mediocre defense, and a quarterback who just throws it up there. He, he's either a superstar or just absolutely crazy. <laughs> Which is, I think, why Bills fans love Josh Allen, because he's absolutely crazy. Yeah. But 
on the flip side, that doesn't always work well for you. And it's entertaining to watch a quarterback do a hurdle, but no quarterback should be doing a hurdle. I think it, as often as he does, sometimes there's a need. Like you've got to, like you need the first down, you've got to go for it. Yeah. There's these moments when a quarterback needs to push the limits. Absolutely. But I, I think Monday night he was like, He'd already got the first down, and he did a hurdle to gain an extra yard and a half. That meant nothing. That's just, that's the insane part of, of the Josh Allen side of things. So, how will the Bills be this? They came off, they started off okay, and then by, by the end of the game, it was over with. What does their season look like this year? I think there's still a lot to see, because it's week one. No one no one's good in week one normally. It's not normal to be good in week one. The Bills could, by all means, they could go off and be a superstar team but last year I believe they ranked second to last in turnovers if that continues yeah. they're gonna have a struggling season especially since the Jets beat them last night the Dolphins are a very good team they're gonna struggle for a division spot either way so uh how are the Dolphins looking this year it wasn't a big win but they won what are your thoughts they beat the Chargers, who are a very good team. They can get double-digit wins. They can do well. I don't think they can compete with the Chiefs or the Bengals, some of those championship teams. Okay. But I think they can win the division. I think they have it in them. So you mentioned the Bengals. So Joe Burrow signs a contract to be the highest-paid quarterback, and then a couple days later forgets to show up. So you think it's, it's more of... Joe Burrows was injured a little bit. He was, was had a slight injury during the preseason, first game jitters, whatever it is, you think it's just it doesn't it doesn't reflect what their season's gonna look like. No, I don't think so at all. Okay. I think any team can have a bad first game and bounce back from that. So any team can bounce back from a loss. How about the Giants? They're the only team in the league who hasn't scored a point. The Giants are a huge mystery. They could be a playoff team like they were last year, or they could be absolutely awful. They signed Daniel Jones to a pretty big contract. They still have Saquon Barkley. They could be good. They don't have a lot of talent besides Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley. And they lost to the Cowboys. Unfortunately, the Cowboys are a good team. So are the Cowboys a good team? Are they a uh, 40-0 and 0 type of team? Uh, what, are you looking, what are you thinking on the Cowboys this year? The Cowboys are going to win it all. Obviously, it's their year. Nobody believes that. He doesn't believe that. But let me tell you about who he does believe is going to win it all. Let's talk about the other team that was in the Super Bowl last year, the Philadelphia Eagles. That's right. Tell me about your team, the Philadelphia Eagles. The, what I love about the Eagles, they are the most deep roster in the NFL. At every position, there's someone behind them who can do just as well or nearly just as well, except that wide receiver. But everywhere else, we can withstand injuries, we can win. Sunday's game was a little, eh. I didn't watch all of that game either. I, it scared me. I, <laughs> I don't think we got any sacks. I think we'll be fine. Um, we'll be fine. We'll win. We're going to win. <laughs> so it sounds to me that what we found is week one is a mystery. Pretty much. Um, there was a lot of things that happened um, that just seemed unfathomable. Except for like, the Lions beating the Chiefs. That's not unfathomable. No, that was what everybody wanted. Unless you're a Chiefs fan, 99% of America was super excited about the Lions game. That Thursday, great opening to the season. Absolutely. I think it's going to be a great season. With even the Giants and the Bengals losing pretty bad, I think... They'll turn things around. They'll they'll surprise us a little bit. Yeah. Some teams that didn't do great that were kind of that mediocre. We'll see some teams fall down. See some teams pick up. Yeah. Um, ultimately, as you guys can tell, um, he is the statistician of the family. Knows just about everything there is about every team. I have a hard time remembering who the quarterback is on the team that I like. That's because he threw three interceptions and had a fumble last week. But anyway. Um, what do you say? I'm just going to, I'm not even going to give my opinion because this guy knows football. He knows who's on what team. He knows what a good offense and good defense looks like. Tell me about the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl? 
Eagles are in it for the NFC, 100%. The Niners are the only team that could contend with them, maybe the Cowboys, unfortunately. Um, but the Eagles are that team. They're, they've got offense and defense, not just defense, not just offense. They, they're good. They'll be in for the NFC. AFC has a lot of good teams. Um, like the Chargers are an underdog team. The Jaguars make me really excited. Um, I'm not sure. Obviously, I think the Chiefs are still the favorite. Even after losing to the Lions, they're just so good. I'd like to see the Bengals. Okay. I'd like to see the Bengals in the Super Bowl. I think they, they Joe Burrow signed that huge record-breaking contract. They got a good team. I think Eagles Bengals is a, is a good is a good go. And obviously, you're going to root for the Eagles to be the oh, yeah. Super Bowl champions. Yeah. All right. One last thing. I just remembered. How do the Carolina Panthers do this year? And the reason I ask this is because Frank Reich is the new head coach. As a Bills fan from way back in the day, Frank Reich did some amazing things as the backup quarterback for the Buffalo Bills uh, back when I was this kid's age and watching football like this kid does. Um, Frank Reich was the best backup quarterback you could have. And then when the Carolina Panthers got established, Frank Reich was the first quarterback to throw a touchdown pass and he threw it to Pete, Pete Metzelars. That's right. He was my favorite tight end from the Buffalo Bills. So Frank and Pete got moved over to the new team. They completed the first touchdown pass. How do they do under the first year uh, leadership of Frank Wright? I don't think this year is, is going to be a great year <laughs> for the Panthers. I don't know too much about the Panthers, but I know last year they basically tanked traded all their good players. They had the first pick in the draft. They didn't get it, but they traded for it. They traded for the first pick in the draft this year and picked Bryce Young, who won the Heisman. He could be a good quarterback. Frank Reich, new coach, new quarterback. It's not gonna be a good year this year, but if they build that tandem, Frank Reich and Bryce Young, um, they could be good in the years to come. So they've got a couple years they of building years. to happen before, before we can start cheering for Frank Reich. Uh, another disclaimer, I'm not a Carolina Panthers fan, but hey, I gotta cheer for Frank Wright. Alright, anything else before we end it? Go Birds. Go Birds. Whatever. So, hey, um, it's been great catching up. Um, I'm looking forward to the games this week for week two. Uh, make sure you tune back in next week as we are able to help you catch up on the things that went down in week two of the 2023-2024 football season. Thanks for stopping in and joining us. Join us again next week.